problems that uh, really don't have a federal one-size-fits-all solution. That's what we do is one-size-fits-all solution. Uh, most of the things that have to do with equality, and Wyoming is the equality state, uh, we allowed women to vote almost 50 years before the rest of the women in the United States got to vote. And there were different explanations for how that happened. But uh, uh, everything can't be done by law. And uh, that's one of, the, one of the problems we have in this country, thinking that we can solve everything with the law. What we need to have is a little civility between people. And uh, we always say in, in Wyoming, you can be just about anything you want to be as long as you don't push it in somebody's face. You can, you can, I, I know a guy that wears a, a tutu and goes to bars on Friday night and always surprised he gets in fights. <laughs> so he kind of asks for it a little bit. But, that's, that's the way that he winds up with that, that kind of a problem. And uh, I'd be interested in any solutions that you have for how we can make that all work better. Again, everything can't be done by law, but there are other things that can be done too. The biggest thing that we need is, is civility. And this is usually something that I say to junior high kids, but it doesn't hurt for high school kids to hear it either. Uh, you know, if somebody's different than you are, you know, maybe they're a new student that comes to the school. And uh, they start out with kind of a blank sheet of paper. You know, they don't know what to expect. They're really nervous. And uh, so somebody says, wow, the clothes you wear are really dorky. That's what this does to them. And then they find out that all the lunch tables are set to different cliques, and they can't get into that, so they kind of have to sit by themselves. And that does this to them, too. And, uh, you know, maybe nobody will talk to them. And it just keeps working on them. We do that to people all the time. We kind of bully them in very subtle ways. Okay, and you think about it and say, well, no, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit with that person at the lunch table. Well, that takes care of some of the problem. And uh, I'm not going to comment on their clothes anymore because, you know, maybe they're more fashionable than I am. So that straightens things out in one different way. I'm going to bring another and we apologize, and that straightens things out anymore, a little bit more. And before you know it, it's all perfect again, isn't it? No, it's not. The wrinkles are still there. There's no way to undo what you do badly to somebody else. And I'll guarantee you, from my own experience, if you embarrass somebody, they will remember it for life. So try not to do that. Now, it's almost impossible not to do that, but try and apologize or whatever as soon as possible and help straighten out some of the, some of the wrinkles. It's all about how we treat each other.